Hey guys, welcome back into the Awesome O YouTube channel. My name is Jeff Ulrich, and this is for the Jock Market Sunday main slate plays for week five. Today's show is sponsored by Jock Market. If you haven't heard, Jock Market has turned fantasy sports into a fantasy stock exchange. Forget waiting until the end of the game to make money. Jock Market allows you to buy and sell shares of players in real time for real money with guaranteed payouts for all shares at the end of the night. Daily markets in NBA, MLB, NHL, and PGA. You can make real money every hour, every minute, every second of every match or game. Use the pregame IPO to pick up shares of your favorite players, then buy, sell, or hold them during the game based on your own analysis. That's the best part. Download the app to get started and use our exclusive Awesomeo promo code, Awesomeo, for up to a $50 bonus on your first deposit. This is an exclusive offer only for the Osmo community. So make sure to take advantage. That's Osmo for a $50 bonus. Now let's get to these week five picks, guys. And I got three of them to go over for this Sunday's main slate. And my first one, let's head out to that Cincinnati Green Bay game. I'm going to go to the Cincinnati Bengals side, and I'm going to go to Joe Burrow here. Yes, Joe Burrow coming off a monster game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Huge comeback in the second half there, but he's still getting far less attention than most of the other top quarterbacks this week, and I like that. That means lower valuations on a place like Jock Market where, again, you're bidding up on IPOs pregame. It's a very, very interesting matchup, though. Lots of fantasy potential. We've got an over-under of 50.5 attached to this game. That's good. Close point spread. Green Bay, big thing here. No Jari Alexander in the secondary. Easily their best player on defense. That's big. And Cincinnati may also be without Joe Mixon. So what does this all mean? Probably means more passing for the Cincinnati Bengals. Their defense is also going to be under pressure by facing another elite quarterback on the other side. I love the way the Bengals have been using Tyler Boyd in the passing game of late. T. Higgins is due back. Now we've got this game. We're probably going to see less running because they don't have their bell cow back. They're probably going to use more Chris Evans in the backfield, who's a great receiver. It all should mean good things for Joe Burrow. More volume is what we want. Let's go. Let's see 40 pass attempts. I think that's a possibility here. Joe Burrow playing fantastic too. I'll just mention that at the end. 78% completion rate, over 12 yards per attempt versus Jacksonville. He's only been sacked twice over the last two games. That's massive. You give Joe, Joe Burrow time. He'll pick apart this Green Bay secondary. Absolutely great spot to buy in on him this week, in my opinion. Second pick. Let's go to another player who's going a little bit under the radar. Another star player, Nick Chubb of the Cleveland Browns. Now look, this guy hasn't scored in a couple weeks, but it's going to happen, people. He's getting over 20 touches per game. And great matchup here. Los Angeles Chargers. They're coming off an emotional Monday night win against a division opponent, but... It's a short week. It's a bit of a letdown spot here. And this isn't just a narrative thing either. Chubb is an elite rusher, averaging over 5.2 yards per carry. What are the Chargers bad at? Well, they're they're bad at stopping the run. They've got the third worst yards per carry mark against at 5.3 yards. Chubb, another guy who, again, just going a little bit under the radar, as I mentioned, hasn't scored in a couple games. But you look at over his career, he's due for a long touchdown. He's got nine touchdowns already in his career over 20 yards or more and now he's playing this weak rush defense i think he probably gets there maybe he gets there by scoring a long touchdown but maybe he just gets there on volume two again just pounding the rock against a weak rush defense either way this is a big upside spot for me this is a player who still leads the browns in red zone touches i know kareem hunt's stolen a couple of them but a multi-touchdown here game for chubb does not seem too unrealistic i love buying in here too i don't think his ipo will be that popular on jock market either and last pick of the week, guys, I'm going to head to the New York Giants. Kenny Galladay, another star who I think could be a little bit under the radar. Yeah, I love targeting this Dallas New York Giants game. It's got a big point total. And look, everybody loves Daniel Jones. It's an up-tempo matchup. Daniel Jones coming off a big week. Well, Kenny Galladay is his number one wide receiver, and he's coming off a big game too. The biggest thing here, guys, no Sterling Shepard, no Darius Slayton in the lineup again for the New York Giants. Last week against the Saints, an elite pass defense. Kenny Galladay went for well over 100 yards, over 19 yards per catch on just seven targets. So he's just dominated a good pass defense. Now he's facing the Dallas Cowboys, who have already allowed six touchdowns to the wide receiver position. They're allowing a 78% completion rate, completion rate inside the red zone, two opposing wide receivers. It's a very, very good matchup for Galladay. Should be up-tempo. The Giants are plus 7.5 underdogs here. Should be lots of late passing in this game. I think Galladay could push 410 targets in this game, and I love making him a pick on Jock Market this week because I don't think that many people 
are going to go there. So those are my three picks for Jock Market Week 5. Again, we got Joe Burrow, Nick Chubb, Kenny Galladay. Before you leave, guys, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to the Osmo YouTube channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, have a great Week 5. My name's Jeff Ark, and we'll talk to you again soon.